Welcome back to the network. I am your host, Chris Bailey, for those persons who are joining us for the first time. Please, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit that subscribe button. I am looking for a thousand subscribers to be added to the channel this week. Please like the video and share the video. This week, I'm pleased to tell you that we have the great Ken Roy Shortman Mullins right here on the Music Hacks Network. Stay tuned for more after the intro. Ken Roy. Greetings. <laughs> Bless up, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Give thanks, no? Yeah, man. I am feeling way, way better now because that little conversation that we had <laughs> today, you, yeah. know, you know? Man. Yeah. But I'm, I'm happy you're, you're, you're home earlier yeah. than we, we had planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man for real man all right so what has been going on kenroy well just i give thanks to life and give thanks to everything see you know definitely whether the good or bad still giving thanks yeah man yeah oh oh has the the pandemic been been treating you and I, I know you're not used to being home especially at a time, time like this well, the pandemic, you just have to rethink the thing, you know, mm. and just, just find a new you. you Definitely. Know? As, well, as my grandmother would say, you can't have an egg in one basket, you know. So you have to think different thing. You can't sit on a ball and say, boy, pandemic. You see what I say? <laughs> yeah man <laughs> what, what what's the impact on, on your musical career though well me not gonna lie me miss the stage miss mm. the stage and me miss flying out and thing but Fine. we still I give thanks same way definitely yeah well I, I know the fans are quite happy because maybe you would not be in Jamaica and being able to be on the music hacks network and for persons to actually get to talk to you yeah this evening so we're still grateful yeah i give thanks i give thanks my general give thanks for the link to you know yeah man definitely yeah all right so um kenroy tell us tell us about yourself what's Hi, your sir. background who is kenroy you know yeah i'm kenroy aka well kenroy mullins aka short man <laughs> <laughs> Most people know by a short man, you know? I'm a short man, guitarist. Right. But, you know, but by, by that name. Definitely. I was born in St. Elizabeth, Elders District. Yeah, from a Christian home. So everything started from home and church. I love mm -hmm. rice and peas and chicken. <laughs> I love ice cream, not not um, Roman reason though, but not the regular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh but, boy. So basically, that's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, and I R love music, you know. For real. Yeah. Um. Normally, I would have asked the the guests who have a nickname. For example, we have had the Great Wall, we have had Zappo, all of those great names. But yours is short, man. Um, yeah. I know you. yours will be self-explanatory, but definitely, why did they call you short, man? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two of them semi short. Okay. Maybe two right. short, you know. Maybe that's why I'm named short, man, you know. All right. Yeah. But I but, don't know what I shot of. But there's well, some name shot, man. So I like the name, you know, so I just work with the name. Definitely. 
Yeah, I don't feel any way somebody call me short, man. Mm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, how do you actually get into into music, Kenroy? What well, inspired my... you? <laughs> well, my I would say my bigger cousins, you know, my church brothers, sister. My sister loved the music, and but me and my bigger cousins like Rowan Clark, mm -hmm. David Clark and two of my church brother. And my bigger cousin, Duke also. Mm -hmm. You know Duke, right? Yes, man, I, yeah. I know Duke. Yeah, man. So going, um, going to church every Sabbath hearing the music. So mm -hmm. that's where it started. Right. Inspired um, by my family. Right. What is Duke, what is Duke doing now? That you mentioned him, I haven't seen him in a while. Well, Duke can do him thing, you know. He's he having his own um, YouTube channel and doing his thing. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, man. All right. So, um, from the beginning, has the, the guitar the, the only instrument that you have chosen to play or pursued? No, you know, my first love was really the bass. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I want. laughs> You know why I said that? I remember the time when, when I was at school and I asked you to, to show me something and that day when you took my bass guitar, boy, I, I'm, I'm really ashamed to say this on, on YouTube now, but I, I never wanted to take back that bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But to tell us something now, I, I went to Edna with my dad to do the audition mm -hmm. and story cut shot. So I went with my bass guitar. I have, I have the lead guitar in the car, but I really love the bass and wanted to play the bass guitar. Mm. When I went, uh, um, when I was at the door waiting for my time, there was a brother inside named Adrian Jerks Henry. Oh boy. When I hear that brother playing Linstead Market, cards, bass, melody, and solo, and I said, Daddy, go for the guitar. It's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Daddy, go put, put back the bass and go for the guitar. It doesn't make sense. Mm. You were discouraged? Yes, man. Wasn't oh boy. not in a bad way, but me I say, maybe if I go in if you do the bass audition, I'm just gonna feel me. Right. I say there was a limited guitarist, so I might stand a chance with the guitar audition. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so jerks, I, I don't, I, jerks was the first bad bass me ever here. I never know some mm -hmm. bass can play them with it. Definitely. Yeah, so man. true. All right, um, Kenroy, what is your, your, your favorite genre to play? Well, I love music, Panahol, and I love every music, but I love the bebop mm. type of jazz. I love jazz overall, and I love the blues. And I love reggae. Mm. But I love classical. Right. I listen like I listen like every music. But I really love jazz. I, I won't tell any lie. I love jazz. And I love mm. blues. Alright. Um listen to a lot of your, your, your solos. I I can tell that the bebop language is is, <laughs> is quite <laughs> deep. <laughs> Deep in your veins, you know? Yeah, I love and, those. Um, yeah, man. And yeah, I, 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 I think that's that's where your sound is. Um, do you agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the blues. I love the blues and the bebop. Mm. And also, I, I hear a little, well, not a little, a lot of wrangling yeah, inside I, I, of some of those licks. Yeah, from when I was a little boy, my father always telling about Ernest Wrangling, he's the greatest in Jamaica. Mm. So my, my dad had, had a lot of wrangling music. Mm. So yeah, from age of 12, I always loved to listen to Ernest Wrangling. Did, did you actually get to meet him? Yes, man, quite a few times. Mm. The last one was- What was the experience like? Yeah, like you meet in the God of Guitar. 
<laughs> yeah, it was. So true. It was a great feeling. Mm. It was a nice feeling. Um, how, how, how has um, his type of playing shape your sound? I want to hear from you. Mm. <laughs> Go again. Um, the, wrang the wrangling type of, of, of playing, how does that shape your style? Well, I cannot do what wrangling do, you know. Mm. I just can try to imitate because you can't really, I won't see wrangling do, uh, I won't see him do something and say, all right, wrangling, show me that. But I will try to speak the language, you understand? Mm. As my topic tonight is how to be a total guitarist, how to be a rounded guitarist. So I don't listen wrangling for everything. So mm -hmm. if it come on to jazz, I will do a wrangling approach. But I won't use wrangling approach in reggae or in blues or in gospel. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it depends on what music I'm playing. It depends. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so who are some of the other persons that you look to for inspiration? Who are some of your main influences? All right. For jazz, I love like George Benson, Ernest Wrangling, Wes Montgomery, Charlie Christian. Yeah. For gospel, I like Agape. <laughs> I like Jairus Mosley. I like Isaiah Sharkey. I like Eric Walls. Yeah. For blues, I like B.B. King, John Mayer. For soul, like if I want to hear some guitar crying, I would listen like um, Derek Trucks. For rock, I would listen like Steve Vai. Van Halen. So I have a guitarist for every genre. I won't just listen to one guitarist then. I say, a wrangling mm -hmm. my guitarist and a George Benson are my guitarist. You understand? Definitely. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. I, I am trying to not ask the questions that the, my viewers and, and guests on, on Zoom would ask. So, you know, um, t tell me one particular thing about you, Kenor, that you think makes you a great musician. Great. <laughs> well, personality, you know. Because you can be very great and have a bad personality and reach nowhere. So your personality will come out in your music. So it's not just music, it's just personality plus music. So it could be great, 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 great. Fast like playing and don't have a good personality, you won't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? Um, do you currently have anything in your playing that you do not like that you're currently trying to work on? <laughs> I know that's a tough one, you know, because, you, you know. Well, I always practice, you know, and I always, music is like the sky, you know, you will never reach the sky, you know. So music is like the sky, you will never reach. You, I can't say I master the guitar. I don't master nothing. So I have to keep listening the same way, inspired by the young guitarists them same way. So even who is before me, I always who come after me, inspire me, same way. You understand? All right. So after still listening, so I don't master nothing. All right. <laughs> All right. I know there, there are a lot of persons inside there who are going to disagree with that, that statement. No, no seriously, Ken Roy. I don't master nothing. <laughs> All right. We yeah. take your word for it. No, seriously, man. All right. 
All right. Um, let, let's talk now at, at some of your, 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 your work or your, your tours. Who are some of the persons who you have worked with in the past? In the past? Well, Beanie Man, Morgan Heritage, Jimmy Cliff. I'm currently with Buju Bantan now. It's a long list in my general. <laughs> Prodigal right, a lot of artists. Uh, Jeremy Edwards, a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. Popcorn, Cartel. Because I used to back a lot of stage show back in the days and like Sting, Rebel Salute, Some Fest. So I get to work with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. Freddie McGregor, Loss. Yeah, it's a long, it's a long list, in general. Yeah, man. Um, how has that shaped your, your career? It helped me to be a better musician. And that is what gives you experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can't be a musician and don't know a song, you know. So sometimes I go on a stage or so this is like Colonji is on the show. I say, yo, sharp man, I did on the show in a area. I never race with him, but I did play for him a couple of times and sting. So doing those type of things is very healthy to your musical career. You understand? Mm. All right. So, so developing a, a large repertoire. Yes, man. No, a lot of song. Okay. So, so what do you do? Do you collect albums on top of albums and not just work albums or do you pick the, the, the hits, the, the big hits from each artist? Is that what you do? Yeah, I do a, yeah, I do a lot of that. And then you have man like Daisy Jones, Ibo Cooper, yeah, Maurice God, well, Maurice God, I shouldn't leave him out still. He's my teacher, you know? Yes, man, the greatest. I have to big up by Maurice Garden, Ibo Cooper, and the great Desi Jones. So them mm. and they really helped me in my career. Cool. Yeah. All right. How oh, 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 did you get the gig with, with, with Buju Banton? You may not think that's, that's your, your, your biggest gig, but some of us do think that that would be the biggest gig for you. So how did you get the gig with Buju Banton? Well, the gig with Butcher Bantan um, is with True Lenky and Steven, the bass player. Because they were foundation from long time before Butcher. Butcher go and let go. So, okay. I don't really want to say the full on jet, but. Yeah, man, we understand. And big up Lenky. Mm -hmm. And Donovan Jeremy, because everybody. Have a part we play, you know, because Lenky can recommend you and the manager and like you, you know. Mm -hmm. So everybody have a part for play. So it's good for live good with people. So everybody can recommend you. As may I say, music have a lot to do with personality, same way. So basic Stephen couldn't recommend me and Lenky say, yo, no, so I know I shot man at the band, you know. mm -hmm. And that's what I mean, so, so everybody. Yeah. You have to just live good and have a good personality and rap with everyone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, finally, before I, I allow you to finally do your presentation, what's, what's your biggest achievement in all of this? What do you consider the, the high point of your career? Biggest achievement you can feed yourself and <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can feed myself. I don't live with my peer. Daddy, I said, Daddy, I want lunch. Daddy, I want dinner. Daddy, I want go yasa. Daddy, I want shoes. Daddy, I want clothes. Daddy, me feel for your ice cream. Mm -hmm. So my biggest achievement is that I can live for my own and take care of myself. Definitely. I and you have done that. Um through being a full-time musician? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, 
I'm happy you said that because a lot of persons um, don't think that musicians um, can be wealthy or playing music can be a lucrative venture. So I'm quite happy that, that you said that you, you have a family and you can take care of them through being on the road. All right? Yes, but you have to be wise as a musician. Because being a musician don't mean that you just have to be on stage. You, know? you can produce, you can manage artists, you can build with them. So it depends on your approach. Um, staff mm -hmm. told me once, um, music business is... Um, 95% business and 5% talent. So you will now have to know the business. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's not only if you play Definitely. for your artist. What if your artist is not on tour? You have studio work. So you have to know if you balance yourself being a, a, a road musician versus being a studio musician. You understand? Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, man, well said, and and especially in a time like this, oh, it 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 terrible. is really putting a lot of musicians to the test, to the test, to think the out of the box. Yes, man, definitely, most definitely. All right, Kenroy, um, what's the topic that you have chosen for us tonight? <sighs> Check my phone now, guys. <laughs> So my topic was how to be a total guitarist. Um, same thing as how to be a rounded guitar player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's All right. My... Let me ask you before I turn, why have you chosen this topic? I've cho chosen this topic because of certain conversations between musicians, among musicians and certain so you have musicians who look down on other musicians. You know? mm. So if a reggae gig come up, I may say, yo, call Tom. No, sir, a gospel Tom player. A mm. gospel gig come up, no, I may say, call Jerry. No, a reggae um, Jerry play. Jerry can't play gospel. You understand? Mm. A, a, a dance hall artist, I go up on tour, say, call Levi. No, sir, I play for Jeremy and Edwards. You understand? Definitely. So sometimes it's not the people in fault neither. Sometimes it's the musician fault. It's how you market yourself as a guitar player. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I won't be long you just being a <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, take your time, man. Don't don't rush this presentation. No, uh, man. <laughs> Nah, All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, viewers and subscribers on YouTube, we are definitely live on YouTube and I know a million persons are tuned in to see this presentation. Also, there are persons on Zoom. At this time, mine is a pleasure to present to you Mr. Ken Roy Shortman Mullins. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so my topic tonight, my little topic is how to be a total guitar player. The same as how to be a rounded guitar player. One is what you listen to or how you listen. That's the first thing. Next. The type of music. Well, it's the same thing as what you listen to, but it's a type of music. You have m most musicians just listen gospel and said, "Yeah, man, I gospel me love. I gospel me play. Now I fight gospel, but doing that, you will be brand that is a gospel musician. So if a reggae artist need a musician or a guitar player, and I said, call Nick. Yeah, no man, Nick is a gospel musician. So I come to fix that. I a little knowledge on that. So for me, you know, I have I don't have one favorite guitar player. Most musicians have a favorite 
overall favorite said, this is my guitar player, but this is your guitar player for which genre of music? Like most guys would say like, um, BB King is my guitar player, but BB King is really a blues player. So if you listen to BB King only, you will just be a blues guitar player. So for me, for jazz, I listen to George Benson, I listen to Ernest Wrangling, I listen to Earl Crow, I listen to Norman Brown, I listen to Joe Pass, for gospel, I listen to Isaiah Sharkey, Joris, Joris Mosley, Agape. Um, who again? Eric Walls, Eric Gills, for blues, I said that already, for blues I listen like B.B. King, John Mayer, for soul, if I want the guitar to cry, I would listen like, um, Jesus, what's my name again? Derek Trucks. Um, for um, classical now, I would listen like Ingwe. I like how you play classical. For rock, I would listen like um, Steve Vai, Joe Shashirani, um, Eddie Van Halen. So I have a guitarist for every type of music. You understand? So playing the gospel now. Playing gospel. You try to approach it and be true to to the, to the music that you are playing. So you can play gospel and having jazz approach or you having um, reggae approach. Just be true to the genre. You're playing reggae. <laughs> you understand? That wouldn't make any sense to me. That's my perspective on that. So be true to each genre. So for jazz, That's my example for jazz. So I would try to approach the music as how it should sound. So those approaches are wrangling, mix up with like a George Benson. You understand? For blues now. That's BB King right there. So look at BB King right there. Understand? For rock. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can't really demonstrate the Steve I properly. So for um, what you have now? R and B. I would listen like Joyce Mosley. <laughs> That's a little Joyce Moose right there for reggae. Ah, I have a lot of reggae guitars. I respect like Monty, Trina Smith, even Luke, Luke Morgan from Morgan Heritage, Stevie Golden, Dalton, Brownie, one who died on basically that. So. bit of the studio work. Yeah, so basically, so you see when you balance what you listen to, it's easy to be a balanced guitarist. And it don't just go for guitars neither, it go for everybody, musician and a whole. Whether you're the drummer, the bass player, or you're a keyboard player, if he's a singer. So playing the gospel, know how to approach the gospel. Playing the reggae, know how to approach the reggae. Playing the blues, be mindful of how you approach the blues. Playing jazz, bebop, the same thing. Just respect each genre, you know? And just love music and our world. Everything is music. 
jazz is music, gospel is music, reggae is music. So just respect each music, uh, each genre of music you're playing. So basically, <laughs> yeah, so being a balance or a total guitarist, the conclusion is that it's just what you listen. Just listen everything. It's not going to be easy, you know. Not going to be easy. But the mind of this is just how you listen and what you listen. So anything you listen, that will be you. So if you just listen jazz, you will just be a jazz man. So even if you're playing reggae, you might approach the solos like a jazz guitarist. So you have to know what to approach. You're playing a song, you, you know what type of solo this song need. You understand? So you're playing, you're playing a... This music. Most people are. You understand? So for music like this, now I listen to like Derek Trucks, John Mayer. So I will go more like that. So, <laughs> let us see what if, if I leave out anything. Yeah, I, I had a note here. So, have a favorite guitarist for each genre. Don't just have one favorite guitarist and say, oh, yeah, John Mayer is my guitarist. Your guitarist for what? Oh, Isaiah Sharkey, I'm my guitarist. Your guitarist for what? Isaiah Sharky don't play reggae. Isaiah Sharky don't play dancehall. So respect our culture. So we have a lot of dancehall guitarists out here. Big up Rough Cut Band. I listen Rough Cut Band. I listen every band. You understand? So who you listen to, to play reggae? Aaron Spear don't play reggae. So I can know the international man. The man don't know my local musician name. You understand? So just balance the listening. Balance the genres then. I see me as a Mr. Host. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, just balance the thing. So I have a favorite guitarist for each genre. So why you hear them I say, yeah, if you reggae, yo, yeah, you know, say so squidly. The man Danny B say. Yeah, man, the man, they are the man. You see me? The funk. Mm. You know, you can call other man named Mona Neon or even the great Victor Wooten, see me if you big him up, see me. Yeah, if you jazz, yeah, man, George Benson, Ernest Wrangling. If you blues, boy, BB King, you know. Well, you just have a one favorite now. You understand me as a Mr. Host? <laughs> Certainly, sir. Yeah, so. Have a favorite for each genre, and trust me, it will work. Mm. 
it will work. It, it is not easy to be around them. I won't say that because even me, I'm still practicing how to be around them same way. It's hard to balance. I hear, you know, most people don't love jazz. But when Butcher call, they have to go out in the road style. So uh, when the road woman I'm call, me I feel ready, ready again. If mm. Morgan Heritage call now, it's different type of music from Bujo Banton. This is strictly roots. So me have to dig up the roots and listen to some music, a china and them on the plate and then go back into the roots again. So when Morgan Heritage call, you're ready again, so. <laughs> Yeah, man, if definitely. Man, if Beanie Man called me now, I'm so why oh, Beanie Man called me. All right. So if you go back into the thing again, you have to find back the dance hall, yo. So them type of vibe, so like a warfare and you have to be ready every time. You, know? you can't go in the, in the, in the, in the war and, and lose the war. But I must say still, Mr. House, I respect every guitar player in Jamaica. I love what I say. You understand? I want to big them up, but I'm afraid I left out somebody. <laughs> One big up man like Levi, trust me, them on the tone amaze me. So me see them more time and try catch him tone and say, yo, Jano, get a soul of the way I'm doing, man. Bad. You understand? You have man like Graskoff, Nicholas Graskoff, big him up. Mm -hmm. You have man like Chris, Chris Campbell, amazing guitar player. Man like Bindi, amazing. So I don't really have a problem with no guitar player in Jamaica. But I just choose this topic for, you know, not everybody might. We can learn from each other. We can encourage each other the same way. So it's just really uh, to encourage everybody. Big up man like Elton, L.E.B. Big up man like Monty, Ranai. Me, me know me going to leave out somebody, but me really sorry, so me leave out. <laughs> <laughs> really sorry, so I believe this money, but big up to every all of the guitar player them. Big up, um, see, me can't remember everybody. Man like Dubwise, big up every guitar player in Jamaica, but just have a name out of you. Everybody sound good. Everybody sound different. I can't know when I live I play, me know when I Chris I play, me know when I Bindi I play, me know when I Grass Cuff. Elton, Monte, everybody doing a great job. And I must say, it amazes me, you know. Everybody just getting better and better each day. See me, I say, Mr. Host. Yes, man, definitely. Ken yeah. Roy. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> Ken Roy. Yes, Mr. The Oz. Great. Well, you say I'm yeah, great, man, but definitely. still working, you know? Still working on you it. You are, you are. It's, it's, that would be a general consensus from all the persons who listen to you all over the world. You know? I give but thanks. But I'm glad that you are very modest and humble. <laughs> Definitely. Modest. With all of this. All right? So, Kenroy, that was a great presentation, bro. I am truly, truly impressed with your presentation. All right? Give so, at this time, we just have uh, probably about another 10 minutes to go because I'm sure a lot of persons would have wanted to say something to you or to ask your question from both YouTube no. and Zoom. No problem, no problem. So, normally at this time, we have what we call a Q&A. All right? Q and A. Yes, question and answer. and answer session. Yes, man. All right. So, guys on Zoom, you know how to do it. All right. Please raise your hands and then we will ask Ken Roy the questions. And I am seeing some questions from YouTube already. All right. First, we have Daniel Edwards on Zoom. Big up, Daniel Edwards. Big up. Yeah, man, blessings. Um, so, one of my first question was, you know, every time I see you in a video, you always have a different guitar. I just never say with one guitar. So my question is, um, <laughs> my question is, is it that depending on the genre that you're playing, you choose a different guitar or you just, Yes, mm. it depends on the type of music I'm playing. Every all my guitars have different sound. You can, anyone can see the one in the middle? Yeah, man, the the urban is. Yeah, the semi hollow body stuff. I'm playing. I wouldn't use it to play this type of music. I would use uh. that to play these type of this 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 type of music. So mm. that type is now would be the perfect guitar to play this type of music. Okay, so so what you would advise a a a, a young musician, a young person who just can afford one um, guitar? Well, I would say um, get a guitar that is rounded then, like a Fender. Yeah, you know the yeah. thing. Daniel, like a Fender. <laughs> uh, you know, some of the keys, eh? <laughs> but I don't know. We just love guitar. We just love guitar. I have two guitar, one acoustic, one uh, electric, and I want for one keyboard, I have and a MIDI. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with a Fender. Yeah. So you know the thing, Daniel, you're up on the right track, man. You can't go wrong yeah. with a Fender. A Fender can almost imitate any sound. Mm. Uh, my next question. Show me a pedal board. I'm not going to show you. Now. Press the guitar a little bit. Yeah. You see him? Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, so you just use an analog setup. Just bear. Um... I love analog. I prefer analog for me. I love real sound. I love raw sounds. Instead of the series and <laughs> digital. Everything. Instead of the digital and the processed sounds. I love raw sounds. Okay, okay. All right, blessings. Yeah, I know if a keyboard player, nothing done sweet like a real organ, you know. A true that true that true that it's the same thing for the pedals, not no sweet like the actual sound. 
Yeah. Big up yourself, Daniel. Yeah, man. Jermaine, Biggie, Francis. Yeah, man. Shot, man. Bless up. Bless up, Jermaine. Why when me you play the guitar a while ago, yo, you take me back in time because you know, guitar was my first instrument, you know. Well, so what? Yeah, man, it was my first instrument until me here, Mr. Hutney Lewis play keyboard, me changed my mind from guitar. Oh, so man. big up out anyway, I'm there. But my question to you now is how do you find the time to um, incorporate all of the different genres and the different um type of music and everything, different guitar player, you know? How do you, you know, find the time to do all of that to, you know, kind of learn the different genres um, depending on which artist you play for, which guitar play for, listen to and all of them things? You know, I'll, honestly, I have a timetable on my phone. Okay. So like Sunday, I would say, it's still if you like classical, so I'm just listening to some classical. Okay. I'm not, I'm not good at classical, but just, I can do a little thing. Okay. This is not even the right guitar. The right guitar is a, like a nylon acoustic. Uh, so. So like Sundays, I just listen to some finger style. Okay. Monday now, I feel like I just listen to some blues. Tuesday, so it's just a routine. Wednesday, I love listening to jazz and Wednesday. Okay. So when you listen to those genres, you go, you go to those guitar players who... Yeah, who you, play who, that. They would play that. Okay. Yeah. So from All right. Bebop, George Benson. So as I was saying that, it's just how to become around the guitar. So... From like with your Wendell and Carlton call me for church on the rock. Mm -hmm. It's how you present yourself. You must present yourself that you can play anything. Okay. Even if you're not good at it, but you can work your way around it. Okay. So yeah. All right. Blessings, my brother. And good good presentation, man. Love the presentation and blessings. Respect, man. Respect. All right. Yeah. Yes, let's big up all the guys who are on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. All right, um, we're going to take this one from Andre Henry. He's saying, what are some of the, the challenges that you have faced during your journey to become a complete guitarist? It wasn't easy, you know? it was rough, you know. Because he told me it's a little country you know, from the country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when me and Fred were talking, you see when me just come at one, I like this me player. You know? So that's a Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I'm saying, I know the Lord will fix it for me. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where I come from. I'm not afraid. I'm not shy about it. I'm not feel shame about it. You understand? Mm. So, it took me a while. Enough time I go in a band. I'm going to say, yeah, you can't get a better guitarist, man. Well, at one point now, me just start listening to pure jazz. So, and it's school me get me just start eating it up, whether jazz, blues, reggae. So, me never really understand the thing. And then, enough man now, so they end up on the road long time. And I'm patient for you, wait for you for learning that, you know. Mm. I've been to a lot of rehearsals. I remember the first call me get for, for some fest. So, what? Yeah, man, I'm a, 
go rehearsal one time next year come back the artist give me two grand for me fear if you go back home mad yes sir go back home get it but <laughs> <laughs> if they get a different guitar player you know because you're not ready yet <laughs> oh jesus me sure i deposit me i get you know mm. man so go home because you're not ready yet as me i tell her sir that's where I come from. So it's not an easy road. Have, have you ever met, met that artist um, after that? Yes, man. What was his impression after a few years down the road? First time, see me at Germany, Summer Jam Festival with, with um, Morgan Heritage. And him said, Where are you? Oh. Then he see me again with. Um, Jimmy Cliff, mm -hmm. England, and I said, Why? Shut my name, when you could have played. <laughs> <laughs> and I laugh, and I say, Yeah, man, remember when we could have played, we could have been a player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to learn to play. So, true. But you know, easy, brother. Who oh, for people I laugh after you know? Mm -hmm. People are not going to read to people, I can say. For people used to say, yo, shot man, I just jazz them and they play, man. Them man, they're not good. Mm. Remember my first tour with Alba Rose, that, that the first call me get to go on a tour. Me lose that tour because of fellow musicians. No man, I call shot man, call shot man, can't play reggae. You understand? Mm. So, a man might see me now, uh, maybe grudge me or bad mind, but a man don't know where you go through for the where you're there. Mm -hmm. See me, so it's not. It wasn't an easy road. Whereas me is a little road coming from Saint Elizabeth now to Kingston, where the big guns them there. You know, mm -hmm. easy for a man rate you, respect you, or if you have you in a good band. It's not mm -hmm. an easy road. So how how does that affect you psychologically? You know, so if I tell you the truth, me is a you like this now. You know, really, it more for Make me practice them for some I go give up, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I do a lunch hour, a lot of people laugh after me. And I, I remember I said, like, the same way I come my head and I see him, so I go left, you know. The time I was in peak, you. Mm -hmm. But if you know what I mean by that still. So me just see you start, start playing your bass and me start laugh. In your head, you know, so four years' time, you're going to be better. True. But enough people, as I said, me always tell my friend that if you want to be the greatest you can, you know, it's just the time and the effort you put in your instrument. So today, me wake up, sharp man, everybody at top, oh, sharp man. Then, a couple of years from now, everybody at top, oh, Chris. Mm -hmm. So you go, everybody is at top, oh, Livy. No, everybody at top, oh, Carlton. Mm -hmm. So you see, when your time comes, just make use of your time and just try to be current and be relevant at all times. So it really reaches a stage now where I don't work to be the best. I work to be for people to be saying, oh, Sharman is the greatest. I, I don't work for that anymore. Cool. Those type of things is like when you're very young in the music and you want to be the best, you want to be the fastest guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> fastest guitar player what me now just want to be a relevant guitarist so i don't want to relevant. be the best or be the man now i want to be relevant mm -hmm. you understand so that's a big difference true yeah man all right let's stay dumb dumb bass from zoom dumb. all right all right my boss bless up chris bless up yeah, sharp boss. Bless up, damn bass. Yeah, David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my question is how you go about um, approaching tone in reggae and sound. Like, when I say sound, no, I mean, like, how you go about mixing the sound to get the right trick or the right solo when you go to hear a solo or whatever. All right, key thing to reggae now, the first thing is this, is the sounds. So you as a guitarist now, a lot of time, man, in this studio, and man say, yeah, give me a chorus, you not have it. 
Give me a flanger, you don't have it. So the first thing is to have the sounds. So that's yeah. why I go analog. So let us name the thing now. To be a to be a guitar player, to play a reggae, first thing, you need a good chorus pedal. Mm. Second thing, you need good reverb. And reggae reverb mostly is spring reverb. So I listen to those reggae guys and like China Smith and them man, and I find out how him guitar, how him strike sound. So I find out so them strike with spring reverb on it. Oh. You need um, Fiesa. You cannot play reggae and not have a Fiesa pedal. You need a Fiesa. You need a proper overdrive. Most musicians buy like distortion, but I don't really hear like distortion in any reggae music. It's mainly overdrive. So a good chorus pedal, a good reverb pedal, a good phaser. You need, also need something named filter. You need a filter. And you also need a good delay pedal. Mm -hmm. So that's the list. The first, that, that's the list. You need a good delay pedal, good reverb, good chorus pedal. So I used to have a um, a boss. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know me good, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> and Nick, you know, man. <laughs> oh, Nick. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, go on, Nick. You're there, man. <laughs> hey, Nick, Nick, I'm a church brother, you know, man. <laughs> Big up Nick, you know, me and Nick come from the same community, you know. Yeah, so man, bless up, up, man. Big up, my general. Mm. So, me as a Nick, me used to have a boss, Emmy Eighty. So, it kind of it hard for me when me go in a studio. Sometimes I fit up a build sounds in the studio. You understand? Yeah. That's why I go analog now. Me find out all of the sounds what me need. Like me ask man like Monty, me ask Ranai, mm. me ask China Simit, me ask even Riff Raff, and them elders. Then me ask them. What is song? What one we need in the studio? Sometimes I go to the studio. In, back in the days, and when I go there, a man wants sound, I mean, I have it. A man said, Boy, I can't do it. Then I me lose the work. Yeah. yeah I mean, I have uh, all of my tools. Then. So I go do my research. I'm fine. I say, All right. It better me, it easier for me if you go analog because you can simply buy the song. Yes. So I just buy a good chorus pedal. Buy a good reverb, buy a good delay pedal, filter sound. Because sometimes you dead pick and you can also dead use a, you can also dead pick with a phaser. Yeah. You hear the difference? Oh yeah, yeah. You can also dead pick with um, a filter. And then finally, so you can even strike with the chorus and, and the pedal. So most guitarists strike with just the clean tone. Yeah. Like, when I research like rock steady music, a lot of those guys strike and strike with um, the chorus. So like, my Dennis Brown love and hate. Yeah. So, Master Nick. 
<laughs> yeah, come I did have the little problem with my boss if, he, if he, the sounds where as you say, especially if I go out one studio and we have a band rehearsal. I have a problem of finding man spot and something and me have to try to create my own sound man song. Yeah. So that's why I'm really that ask, you know? It's more expensive if you go analog though. Oh. Because when you can get a pedal, a digital pedal for change and something like that, that is just for one pedal. One analog pedal. Oh, okay. Because my so filter is for 200 and something dollar. The fee is 150 something dollar. So maybe if you get a good pedal, so of course, yeah. But you can just take your time because I never do it, do it um one time. Yeah, yeah. So I get the money. I said, all right. I buy a good overdrive. You work some money. Next time I said, I buy a good chorus. Work some money, I said, I buy a good pedal, good um, delay pedal. And I saw you have to do it. Yeah, um, the brand. How you go about the brand? All right, for the brand. For Reverb, I like Boss. Yeah. But I don't too fancy the overdrive and those things are distortion for Boss. So for my overdrive is OCD and I have a Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer. Oh. For phaser, I like the boss. For delay, I like the TC electronic. And for chorus, I have a MXR. Analog chorus. And yeah, most of my t- stuff are like from boss and TC electronic. Uh, uh. Yeah, and Ibon is Ibon is overdrive. Tube screamer, very nice. I use the tube screamer now with um the the OCD for sustain. And it's an art, you know, because even it's not just to buy sounds you know, how you patch it have a lot to do with how the the, the tone also. Yeah. Uh, you can patch it running you know, and it's sound different. So oh. it's a journey. Yeah. All right, last question now, and then we get other people's face, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, you tone the guitar itself when it comes to, like, the the um, the um tone button them, where you know you have the treble or you have the the low cut or them there. How you tone them there? So, um, it depends on the sound you are looking for, you know, is what you want to hear. So what type of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because the reason why I'm asked, I me remember oh I think Verl and the small they come on the music acts already and said um him see on a show already and say you say to him say him ask you why why you you tone the guitar before your 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 tone like your 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 um Tune up and the, the, the stage show with the effects and everything. And I guess you did that say to him, say, if you can find the right tune from the raw guitar itself, we make it more effective after. Something like that. Oh, now I understand what you're saying. All along, I, I thought you were talking about um, the pedal itself. No, man, not the pedal, man. Oh, so, um, yeah. Normally, I try to set the guitar itself, tone the guitar naturally and raw. Because yeah. the, pe- the pedal now, to me, is just like you're cooking some rice and you add your, your butter and your, your, your scallion and your thyme and your seasoning. <laughs> so you see, from the rice, tastes good without meat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> bad. Yeah. When you we, we go on a stage now, first in the middle, we try set the guitar first, naturally without without effects. So, so me set it raw right now. Me say, all right, me like all this sound. Me add my fears now.
Excuse me. I add my reverb. What that tell us, Adley Quell? Um, the 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 TS nine tube screamer. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, I try to get a good sound right. out of the guitar. Remember, remember my church where you come from? We never know about effects, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> so the guitar normally just sound like this. I just tune it. So yeah, I man. use that same approach. So one thing I don't forget where I'm coming from, you know. So yeah. you always try let the guitar so don't depend on the effects for your sound. Yeah, yeah. So I don't depend on the effects for my sound. The effects is just seasoning to my tone. The, oh, next yeah. the tone is you. You are the tone. Because I can tune my guitar and play it. And I give you with the CM settings and it's sound different. Oh. So you are the tone. And don't depend on the effects for your tone. <laughs> ah, my boss. Effects Respect, must you know? enhance your tone. Yeah. That's a purpose for effects for me to enhance my sound. Ah, uh, uh, my bless boss. Up, Respect. Yeah, man. Bless up. Um. Well, there's a task here from the great Mr. Lewis from Oti Lewis. He is asking you to use one song. Right to demonstrate how you'd make the adjustment to um to approach the different genres. So you're going to choose one song and show you how you'd adjust it within the different genres. But well, Oti, not easy, no, sir. But big up Oti is one of my inspiration to also, you know. I remember a song quick and fast. But... So one song to demonstrate different genres, right? That's it. All right. Your approach. My approach. Mm. So say Amazing Grace then. So country. one approach.
Ile tu reggae. So blues. <laughs> oh god the great Keroy yeah. short man uh, Mullins live on the music hacks network yeah. all right we have just a few more to go short man all right a pure fire me see a blaze over youtube you know i wonder what's going thanks, over there give pure fire to everybody you know, give thanks yeah. all right big up youtube massive all right, let's take JDM from Zoom. All right, blessings, Chris. Blessings, blessings. I'm going to shout, boss. I don't know if you remember me, but we are going. Um, question. I don't know if you remember the brother. Yeah, your face look familiar, man. All right. For you know Nick, you must know me, man. Yeah, man, I know Nick, good man. All right, the yeah, question I want to ask is, I don't know if you ever have it, but going on a, a sh um, performance, are there any musicians that you can look forward to to give it that drive or that boot to, 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 to play a, a, a great piece of music or performance or anything? Yeah, man. Uh, any, uh, not even musician, but the instrument wise or anything, you can also say, yeah, you yeah, have that the instrument around there, so you feel comfortable, you can do your thing on stage. Yeah, man, you have to find out, say, you have to have that in your life, you know? Like me, you know, me have, me rate everybody, but you have some musicians, yeah, so when you touch the stage with them, you know, I say a problem. Man, like Oti, when you have to with Jimmy Cliff, from, when you hear Oti play the organ, you say, Jesus Christ, God Almighty. You see, me you have drummer like Lewin, me love, you me read the you there. When you touch the stage and I'm the pan drum, whether Jerry, you have Carlton, 
you have Dave, you have Gregory, Gregory Palmer, you have Deal, Deal, what? <laughs> Deal Brown, a showman. So then, man, uh, even if you're nervous, when you're nervous, if you look up on stage and you see 40,000 people are nervous, when you say Deal Brown, Palm Bass, nervousness gone in a boss. When you hear Dave say, a problem tonight in a boss. <laughs> You understand? When you hear Otip on the organ, so all of them things they build up your confidence. Yeah, man, for real, man. Because yeah. even last time when, 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 when your mother passed and you see it, you do a performance, they will say, yo, when you have a certain musician, when you have a back man, you take it that comfort. Yeah, man, in them time, yeah. you hear man like Dorian. Jerry, who are them man that you know? Who are them? I'm going to tell you, sir. I'm going to call name and I'm going to lift out some name. Man like Kenil, Dorian, Dada, Jerry, Carlton. I don't want to lift out nobody name. Berlin, and then who are them man? Berlin, and then who are them man? I never remember so my mother dead because every week the manager have come and sent to come play peer music on my yard. So, music very powerful. True, man. Sometimes I hear Dorian Pony Jum, Lewin Pony Jum, Carlton Pony Bass, Oti Pony Argan, you name all of them. Sometimes I don't remember some of my mother dead for real because they might entertain me now and they take my mind off of my mother for a while. Yeah, man, free, man. Yeah, you, when you hear them man they play, I can't say, Jesus Christ, I find time for cry. You just I say, yo, I will when do that. Music time, man. Music yeah, time. Just music time. So music, music helped me a lot. Yeah, time. man. I see. So like when you appear around, when the boy Nick you have, yeah, yeah, your mind just gone, just in a yeah, music. Yeah, man. Open time, me and Nick play at church and. Yeah, man. Yeah. I go for lunch. <laughs> oh, boy, the boy Nick. Oh, it. Yeah, jam. Man, that, that I need to jam. See him. We have a lunch time. Me still a jam. When I. Breaks time. When you bother one hung, when you were hungry, you know, brother. Hungry, I went to say Jude about Nick and say Jude and June yeah, and yeah, the man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. Just that are my questions. So big up yourself. That are Chris. Yeah, Bless man, up, Jay. Bless All up. Right. Bless up to young youth and the younger generation. Um. Yeah, man. Every time. Delroy. Yeah. Peachy. White. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The great... Kenroy Mullins, the great, the, great, uh, the man, the man, the, uh, no mix me. The man plays some um some relative man that you were in G, and I was like, okay, all right, all right, <laughs> mess up my head. All right, all right. So I have a question, um, because you did say some stuff that um that um I didn't miss, um, because some settings that you do, I use it on the organ regarding pre reverb. Um, and I use that a lot on the organ. You said you like, um, also you said you like to use the analog sound versus digital, right? Yeah. Now, uh, my question is, because um, I know with the organ, with the Leslie speaker, um, like for example, a 122 or 147 or 251, the amplifier, I noticed most of these guitars, like one of my guitars, he used like the vacuum tube versus the solid state. Which one do you like to use and why? I like tube. I would prefer the tube. Okay. Okay. You see anything in tube? Trust me. Mm -hmm. the, the, the longer it's on, the sweeter the sound coming at you. Right. Right. So, okay. Yeah, that's my reason. Do you have any um do you have any special tubes like um for example like with 6550s at my church? Um, I'll probably use like a, a, K, a JJ2, KT88, or a Softec. I mean, Those anything in Fender. Oh, Fender. Okay. 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 Anything in Fender, too. Right. Deluxe. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. Because yeah. the reason I asked, as I said, you know, like some of the mark, like the tubes, like, um, you know, because I went to Memphis and I see even the guys that have the, the tube rig on their guitar. Um, um, I don't know how to explain, but... It's, it's pretty much identical to the tubes that we use um, in the Leslie speaker and so forth, like the amplifier and so forth. Because I prefer I prefer tubes on organ more than solid state because I, I like the warmth. Yeah, you know? tube warmer. Yeah, the solid very state, warm. especially when you when you increase the volume on the organ, you hear the distortion, that very raspy 
um, distorted versus a solid state that when you, when you touch the, 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 the more you increase on a solid state amp, it's not as authentic if that, you know the you know, thing, man. You know the thing. You know what? I'm just, I'm just asking you from like a guy's <laughs> perspective. <laughs> well, you're on the right track. Okay. Okay. Cube for me all the way. Anything okay. warm. Anything warm must feel good enough. Right. Hey. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. That's all I had to say. Though oh, I really boy. see what you're doing. Um, yeah, big yeah, up, Delroy. Right. Big up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Respect. Yeah. Bless up, Delroy. Yes, sir. All right. Um, as we, as I said, short man, that YouTube is a blaze. I'm going to ask you guys who are on YouTube, just use that same fire that you have over there and touch the subscribe um, icon. I, I want the subscribe icon to be on fire <laughs> tonight. All right, guys? I know a lot of you over there enjoying the, the show. But we cannot keep Kenroy here all night on the network. So we're going to take one final question from YouTube. Um, I think this is from Artistic Dimensions, J.A. Is there any musician who you want to collaborate with in the near future? And that's, that's a fitting um, question to end tonight's presentation. Locally, guitars. Well, first, um, my album coming out soon, Brighter Days. And I featured Monty on that album. Guitarist Monty. Mm -hmm. So he was... Monty is one of my idols. I remember when I just came... Um, when I was at in Edna Manley, I couldn't afford a guitar. Mm -hmm. Monty, well, a proper guitar. So Monty lent me a guitar for the four years and I was at that school. He never even called me and asked me about mm -hmm. the guitar. Me I said, boy, I'm well want to buy a guitar. And he said, no worry yourself, man. You soon tour the world and you soon start buying a guitar then. So I wish I could not show you the guitar then, I know, but if you lift up the laptop Monte I get to feature him on the album internationally now I would say John Mayer I would, I would love to share a stage with John Mayer mm -hmm. and, and the other guys who are I read now like George Ben and those guys but trust me I would say John Mayer so locally, Monty, and I, I get to do that on my album. Really grateful for that opportunity. Yeah. So you guys look out for the album. Right to this. Soon start to see some posts that go up. <laughs> Definitely. Get your copy. All right. Don't download the album, guys. Please buy the album. Mad, mad. Um, before I allow you to give your, your contacts, your social media contacts, um, short man. Uh, we have a, a legend. We have a, a, the great, great, great wall in the house, and he, he wants to say something on camera. So I'm going to allow him to say it at this time. Yeah. Fletcher. Hey, well, up, Fletcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there is a man, you know. But Mike, look, hold on, Fletcher. Yeah. All right, go on again. Yeah, I'm saying I'm not a guitarist. I'm a yeah. drummer. But I like to say, you know, when the young generation, like man like you, Monty, and the rest of you, them, and most of you, them, who you mentioned, Dada and all of them guys, eh? But that's what I said to you, sir. I like the way you guys taking the button from people, like, say, from elders like us, me, Chris, including, you know? Because in the beginning and the starting out, it wasn't like what it is now. Yeah. You know, I was telling somebody the other day, say, even school and music, we, didn't, we, we don't even could have pronounced the first name, Edna, much less Manly. Because if it wasn't, <laughs> if it wasn't the, the, the prime minister's son or the, your, your father was not a doctor and you couldn't enter the gate. Yeah. And to see so much of you guys, you know, coming 
and not just plain, but business-wise, you know, professional-wise, is a good look. I mean, just want to take the time out to tell you, say, yo, because sometimes people tell people things when, you know, when you're not there about them, say, but somebody just want to publicly say to you, respect, keep up the good work. Yeah. And the story where you say, you know, you know, forget where you come from. No, sir. Always, always, no matter where you reach in life, always go back to that thing there. When they never Big have. Up. You understand? And to all who are listening, same things go for you guys. Never forget where you co- forget where you're coming from. But always keep the eyes on where you're going. Respect my brother. Keep up the good work, sharp man. Big up, drummer. Big up. Big up, we and every time. Looking forward, looking forward to your album, sir. Yeah, man. Respect, man. Respect, man. Yes, so, man. Mr. Chris, Host. Good work, my brother. Bless up. Bless up, sir. Fletcher. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, man. We are at the end now, uh, short man. So, I'm going to ask you to give your 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 contacts how can we reach you on social media etc well you can take out your phone <laughs> <laughs> well you can take out your phones oh, now and go on instagram at kenry mullins let me know when you find it mm. find it yet at kenry mullins instagram Facebook, Kenroy Short House Mullins. You know the name Short House is my production name. Like you have Penthouse, so that name was given to me by Lenky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My. So Instagram at Kenroy Mullins. That's it. Short man. Respect, yeah. sir. Yeah, I mean, if you tell I, the respect, um, you know, I give thanks. You know. I, I respect you more, up, bro. Big up to everybody, where, because you never have to come listen to what I say. You know. So I give thanks to everybody who is signing for the thing and I listen mm. when I have to say. I mean, really, that makes me feel good. You understand? So it's not about me coming here. I, I respect everybody where, because everybody has things to do, you know. And I want to take in time out for you here with Sharp Man Officer. I big up to all of my supporters, them, everybody. Where... Just big up everybody. You understand? And that's what I say. Me learn from everybody, especially these young musicians now. Big them up the same way. Levide, Chris Campbell, my Carlton. I don't me me call everybody name. I don't oh. remember everybody, but big up to everybody. The general them so, like Lewin, Carlton, um, Jerry, Kenil, Malcolm. Let's big up everybody. Oti, big up yourself. Wayne, everybody. Delroy, big up. And most respect big up to music hawks network. Network. <laughs> respect, short man. Every time it's Thanks. Dinner, yeah, man. All right. At this time, we are going to close our show with a presentation from another great musician. His name is O'Shane Campbell, and he is the drummer for Freddie McGregor. Yeah. Mad.
yes guys this was an awesome show it was a pleasure having you guys before you go hit that subscribe icon for us hit it hit that subscribe icon all right and let us get to a thousand subs during the course